Good morning, I'm Kenny Choi. This is your Picks Now update. Here are some of your top headlines. Right now, there is no ACE train service across the Altamont Pass after a possible gas leak was reported in Livermore at around midnight, causing a headache for morning commuters who use the service. All train traffic over the pass has stopped and won't resume until all repairs are complete. Right now, pg and &E crews are assessing the situation and the repairs aren't expected to be completed until this afternoon. We are just a few hours away from game six of the NBA Finals. The Golden State Warriors looking to even the series against the Toronto Raptors, but they'll have to do it without Kevin Durant after he confirmed yesterday a ruptured Achilles tendon in game five and he has already undergone a surgery. Now, win or lose, this will be the last Warriors game played in Oakland. This is a live look at Oracle Arena right now. The team is leaving this venue for a brand new arena in San Francisco next season. Let's take a quick look back at the history of the arena in Oakland. On November 9th, 1966, it's when it opened. The grand opening that day involved a minor league hockey game, the Oakland Seals against the San Diego Gulls. The NHL's uh, California Seals later played a few seasons in Oakland. In 1996, the arena underwent a $100 million renovation, adding 4,000 seats. The Warriors played in San Jose during that construction. And in 2006, Oracle Corporation bought the uh, official naming rights to the arena. And in 2013, new team ownership announced that the Warriors would leave Oakland to move west to San Francisco, the Chase Center. And as we get ready to say goodbye to Oracle Arena, we want to see your memories from the Warriors' longtime home. You could share your pictures online with us using the hashtag KPIX. An eyebrow-raising statement from President Trump. He says that if a foreign power offered dirt on his 2020 opponent, he'd be open to accepting it with no obligation to tell the FBI. The president made the comments yesterday during an interview with ABC News. I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't, there's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh. I think I'd want to hear it. Do you want that kind of interference in our elections? It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. If I thought there was something wrong, I'd go maybe to the FBI if I thought there was something wrong. What the president is really saying is, yeah, I knew this was unethical and maybe illegal, and I would do it again. Former vice president and Democratic uh, candidate Joe Biden is among those criticizing the comments, saying that foreign interference in our elections is a threat to national security. A big move from rideshare companies, Uber and Lyft. They are making some major changes to keep their drivers as contractors. In order to do that, they've agreed to the following terms. A guaranteed base wage for drivers, flexible benefits, and a new driver's association. This compromise comes after new legislation was proposed that would classify the company's California drivers and other gig workers as now full-time employees. A shocking new report about plastic. It turns out that more than 9,000 tons of recyclables are dumped into San Francisco landfills every year, and it's largely due to one culprit, flimsy plastics. That includes bags, shipping envelopes, and uh, food packaging, which are low-grade and difficult to recycle. Now, two measures would force the state to cut the amount of single-use plastics in landfills by 75% by the year 2030. The plastics industry and business groups are against this idea, saying that this would increase costs to manufacture products in the state. Even more flight options are coming to Mineta International Airport in San Jose. Today, SJC will hold a grand opening for its new gates in Terminal B. The $58 million facility was designed to accommodate more passengers. Southwest Airlines will be the initial occupant of the six new gates. Flight operations won't begin until November. Now to a live look outside from our KPIX 5 studio roof camera. You could see some uh, puffy clouds over Treasure Island. Uh, and check out this time lapse of Carl the Fog rolling into San Francisco yesterday. A welcome sight for the Bay Area as we get some relief from the hot weather. Mary is tracking the conditions. That's right, Kenny. I don't think I've ever been as excited to see Carl the Fog roll in with onshore flow as I am right now because we are cooling all of us down across the Bay Area due to that sea breeze. Check out our temperatures right now in the 50s and in the 60s. A big difference compared to yesterday morning. 24-hour temperature change. Look at that. Fairfield, 21 degrees cooler, 16 degrees cooler. 
cooler in Livermore, 17 degrees cooler in San Jose, 13 degrees cooler in Oakland and Nevada. And it's all because of this upper level trough of low pressure, this disturbance ushering in that stronger marine influence for us and cooling us all down and giving that relief from the heat. On Futurecast, taking you hour by hour, we are looking at plenty of sunshine, but again, a cool day. And uh, we're going to see the clouds hugging the coast a little bit longer. As we start the day tomorrow, we'll have areas of low clouds and fog along the coast and parts of the bay due to that sea breeze. Check out our highs for today. Mid 80s from Fairfield, Concord and Livermore, low 80s in San Jose, low 70s in Oakland and mid 60s in San Francisco. Kenny. <laughs> party in St. Louis after the Blues won their first Stanley Cup in their 51 history of the franchise. The team secured the Game 7 win on the road in Boston against the Bruins. The Blues have been around since 1967. St. Louis got big performances from Captain Alex Petrangelo all throughout the playoffs and last night was no different. Gave the Blues a two-goal cushion late in the first period here. And rookie goaltender Jordan Binnington had another fantastic performance in the 4-1 win. You dreamed this for so long and you know as a kid I just like that that feeling comes back to you of just like what it means. It was an amazing turnaround for St. Louis this season. They bounced back after having the worst record in the NHL on January 3rd. We'll be back with another update at the top of the hour. You could always watch and listen to our updates on your favorite platforms including our website kpix.com.